Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho from Mobile Reviews 8.c and today we're going to do a review of the Incipio NGP. Now according to wire, Wirecutter.com, this is the number one top rated iPhone case and I kind of have to, actually I strongly have to disagree, but for 20 bucks it's it's a decent case for 20 bucks. The NGP is a fairly soft case that wraps around your iPhone that wears fairly well over time, but despite what Incipio says, the case is not easy to grip, especially when you compare it to other Incipio cases like the Dual Pro. Now based on my time with the Incipio NGP, I've given a score 3.8 A's out of five. In my opinion, this doesn't even, this case rates pretty close to the Tech 21 Evil Mesh and the Spec Candy Shell, though it doesn't come close to my favorites, the Rhino Shield Crash Guard and the Thule Atmos X3. If you'd rather read the rest of this review, find it on my website. And if you want to see similar cases, check out that comparison tool. Links are in the I or in the description section below. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a eh? .ca. At mobilereviews.ca, well, we do everything based on real uses, so we just don't use these things in very sterile environments or unpack it and go, oh, look, this is such a nice case and not do anything with it. That's just not what we do. For the NGP, a lot of you guys have been asking me to compare it against other NCPO cases. I've got a Dual Pro, I've got a Phenom, and an Octane um, in my hand right here. So throughout this entire review, I'm gonna be making references to all of NCPO or most of NCPO's cases. As a side note, I will tell the story of why it took over three months for me to get these cases, not because I didn't order them, but because NCPO customer service is not great. I'll tell that story at the end of this review. In terms of design, the NGP is a fairly slim case, though it's not as slim as the Element Iron, but thinner than Incipio's own Dual Pro Phenom and Octane. The case is quite light and won't add much weight to your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. In terms of the build quality, I was really impressed at how scratch resistant the case was, and according to Incipio, the material used in the NGP doesn't stretch over time. Incipio has some of the coolest names for their uh, materials that they use in their cases. With the NGP, it's like the Flex 2O, I think, which is also found in the Dual Pro, also found in the Phenom, it's not in the Octane. The hard, the hard polycarbonate piece, I forgot what it's called, but that's not found in the NGP, but it is the same stuff on the back of the Dual Pro. I do have to mention that one of our viewers, Jennifer Morrison, mentioned that the case may change color as her NGP turned black on some areas when she used it with a black line purse. This issue isn't specific to the NGP, as the Dual Pro also has a tendency to change color. The only gripe that I had for the MGP in terms of build quality is the actual texture of the case is a little too slick, especially when compared to other cases like the Dual Pro and the Octane. Now in terms of protection, I just dropped it on the floor. This, uh, this case isn't drop rated unlike your uh, Octanes and your uh, Dual Pros. You can drop these two from four feet, this thing, it doesn't say how far you can drop it, but it says it has shock absorbing flex tool material. But you know, from two, two three feet, yeah, it do okay. So coming out of your car. There aren't any extra cutouts that will allow dust and debris to reach the iPhone, and the stretch and tear resistance materials will keep the iPhone safe from dust and debris over a longer period of time. The edges of the case are quite high and work well with other screen protectors while keeping your screen off of a flat surface. Now in terms of handling, the NGP isn't great for two reasons. The first is that the buttons are a little tough out of the box, though Chris V on Twitter said that the buttons do get better over time, though Ron Jr. said the exact opposite, the buttons are tough. To add my two cents, the button response is very similar to the uh, Dual Pro. I'm pretty, I think the interior liner of the Dual Pro is the same as the NGP, and it's way better than the Phenom. The button response on the Phenom is really awful, and it's kind of the same to the uh, Incipio Octane. The second reason is that this is a very slippery case. I'm not a big fan of slippery cases, and it's kind of reflected in my scoring method because, well, your case is supposed to protect your iPhone from falling out or slipping out of your hand, the NGP doesn't do that. You know, compared to other NCPO cases, the Octane has a really nice textured edge to enhance your grip. The Dual Pro has an outer shell that's really grippy, and the Phenom is kind of the same thing, very, very grippy. So between these four cases, the NGP is the one that's literally going to fly out of your hand. In terms of accessing your screen, like all slim cases, that's pretty good, actually. It's great. There's nothing there. The cutouts on the case are large enough third-party cutouts as well as the headphone jack. Again. I didn't rate it too high, but for 20 bucks, it's a pretty decent case for that price range. Like if you were to go up another 10 bucks, you can go get an Incipio Dual Pro, which I personally would do um, if I was looking to buy an Incipio case. That's, because in my opinion, that's a far superior case, multi-layer protection. It's a little bigger than your NGP, um, but it also is much grippier than the NGP. So that's really all I got for this review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe because we do awesome things like make review videos. 
two to three times a week. You can find me on Google+, Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Um, that's kind of all I got. If you watch through the outro credits, you get to hear my story about really bad Incipio customer service. So with these NGPs, I ordered them a really long time ago. I think it was back in February or March of 2015. And I order them and then you get a response email saying that, yeah, your order is gone or gone through. And I was like, cool, I'll just wait, you know, the uh, six to 10 business days that it takes to send. So six weeks after the fact, I didn't see any cases. I went and looked up my order and they had actually sent me a follow-up email after saying that they'd been shipped, saying that they didn't have this NGP. Now, if I didn't go bug them, they would have kept my money and not sent me any product. So I was a little disappointed. I contacted their customer service and they're like, oh yeah, we've got your stuff in stock now we're gonna send it to you normal airmail six to ten days and that still took t literally two and a half weeks for me to see it from that moment that I got that email so it's just one of those things that's like you screwed up and you still send it normal mail oh and like it really actually bothers me because a lot of these case manufacturers especially the waterproof ones we had a bunch of incipio atlases fail and that kind of sucks and when a incipio when a waterproof case fails you have a tendency to say hey i spent like a hundred bucks on this thing i should get a decent like you should send me a new one because well it's a hundred dollars and your product failed but they'll chart incipio will charge you shipping back to them and they won't ship you a new one until they see the old one right which is unlike the life proof stuff which they just literally just throw cases cases at you until you're happy um, you know K companies like catalyst do the same thing like their customer service in that regard is just absolute crap you send me a faulty product and I have to pay money to send you back your faulty product before you send me another new product ah, I don't know I'm just ranting now that's all I got <laughs>